As the federal government pushes for the promotion of made in Nigeria goods and growth of local industries towards ensuring the government's economic recovery and growth plans, more sectors are beginning to focus on local content, especially agriculture and manufacturing. Though Nigeria may not be a power block in the automobile sector, however, the efforts of companies cannot be wished away. Some automobile makers are beginning to up the game in ensuring Nigeria has a feel of locally made and affordable vehicles. To many, this is welcome development which would contribute to Nigeria's quest for industrialization and domestication of jobs. <laughs> Tata Motors, Asian manufacturing company, rolled out its 200 locally assembled vehicle to suit Nigerian terrain. The auto head Suraj Prakash said that the company would continue to ensure adherence to the local content to ensure cost effective cars in Nigeria. In aligning ourselves with the federal government directives of local assembly, we started with a pilot in the year 2016 where we had partnered with Iron Product Industries, the premises that we are sitting currently, we are holding this event. We partnered with them in the year 2016 and we started with a pilot of 10 units. These 10 units were locally assembled and retailed in the Nigerian markets and for over a period of one year. We tried and tested the vehicle. Is it compliant to the Tata Motor standards or not? We found it to be results to be very, very encouraging and satisfactory. So we started with the full range of assembly since the year 2017. According to the Director General, National Automotive Design and Development Council, Jelani Aliu, who was represented by Wahid Odetoro, Director of Industrial Infrastructure. The federal government is ready to provide enabling environment for a thriving local automobile sector. The four aspects of the policy itself, which gives uh, fiscal and financial incentives to manufacturers in our environment. In the past, all the assembly plants folded up, except very few of them that have been skeletal operation. But with the advent of the policy, the assembly operation is part of Nigeria now. And so many assemblers have migrated, even from the level of SKD to CKD. He further said that the Automotive Development Plan Policy Bill has been passed, waiting for the President's assent. He says the core operators in Nigeria will be protected. I think we are happy that government effort has materialized and physically seen that assembly operation can be brought back to Nigeria, which we have achieved as a council with the support of the federal government. And with the passage of the bill by the two houses, the Automotive Industry Development Plan Policy, just awaiting the assent of Mr. President. Once that is done, more assembly operations will uh, come, operators will come to Nigeria. It is important that local content be encouraged in Nigeria, especially with the realization of technology to experts in the industry, as this will boost the nation's GDP and create... <laughs>